Mark, we know that finding a job is a full-time job and we have ups and downs. Some, there are days that we are so overwhelmed. There are days that nothing is working. So we need to have kind of a schedule that works for us. In your experience, do you have any tips on how to stay positive during a job search? Ooh, that's a tough one <laughs> because it can feel it can feel really low. For me, Maher, I just try not to get too high and I try not to get too low mm -hmm. because, you know, life, life is, is like that, right? You know, everything could be rolling great. And then some, you know, a loved one passes away. You know, we've, we've seen a lot of that this past year as we got through this, this uh, pandemic, um, you know, so I just try to, I think there's, so there's a couple things, right? A, don't get too high, don't get too low. Yeah. Um, B, make sure that you're doing something that does give you some joy, mm -hmm. right? Try focusing on what you love doing. If you hate writing blog articles, stop writing blog articles. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, if you if you don't enjoy podcasting, then don't podcast. Like find something that actually you enjoy and, and wake yeah. you, you wake up in the morning with, with some excitement. Yeah, and it's okay to have days off, you know, or go yeah. for a gym, do something. You don't have to be in front of the computer eight hours finding a job. There are so many other things that you can do. Listen to 100%. a podcast can be one of them. Hundred percent. You, but it is important, I think, that you're filling in, you're filling in your gaps with positive mm -hmm. stuff, right? It could be so easy to slip into that. I had a rough day. I'm just going to drink for five hours and watch watch a, a few movies on Netflix, mm -hmm. right? It, it's important, I think, to find uh, positive avenues yes. to fill your time with. Yeah. I totally agree with you. And that's what I teach sometimes my clients that have a schedule, let's say Monday morning, you go for jogging and then you take a break and then maybe you, you, you do painting or you do broadcasting and then the next day you do networking. So a variety of things, but find something that makes you joyful and, uh, and even uh, uh, small successes, enjoy them and celebrate them. Yeah. Yeah. And don't try to be something you're not. Like I said before, there's something that I, I, I that just kind of cracks me up is people will be up at like 4 a.m. or 5 a.m. And I'll tell them that I wake up at eight. And they're like, you got to get on that. You got to be up mm -hmm. earlier. I'm like, my natural body rhythm is midnight to eight. That's what I, yeah. you know, that's how I thrive, you know, yeah. so be yeah, honest every, with yourself. Yeah. Everyone is unique and you cannot compare your journey with others. 100%. Yeah. Thank you for those great tips, Mark. And for the audience watching or listening, if you have any other tips, please leave them below and tune in next time for other great question with Mark. Mm -hmm.